going on guys, Ghost here. Today we are back in Carl Mechanic Simulator 18. So we're going to be basically, we, we got the the McLaren all built except for the motor, but I couldn't build the uh, motor because I had the super motor on it. So today we are going to build a thousand horsepower, hopefully, thousand horsepower super motor. Now I wish we could put the motor on like an engine dyno, um, but we can't. So, we'll just have to wait until the car actually gets done. But, we're going to put the motor in the car, get everything settled, put the battery and everything. Um, I think I got a good battery for it. Put the motor in there and interior, I think. Um, I don't know. I think we can, yeah, I think we can actually, can we still get in the car? I think. Either we might fire it up, but we're not going to have any axles or anything. Or any kind of suspension on that just yet, but we are going to do drag suspension. But once we get all the motor, the motor and stuff in, it'll give us time to basically get this motor. Because this is going to be a car we sell. That's just going to be a toy. So this is kind of, I want to get this done, but I do want to get this motor built before we take it off the stand and just slap it in a super. Alright, so today we need to get some pistons and stuff. That's, that's our main thing. So let's go to our shop here. We're going to put all good stuff in it uh it it's already starting i spell like crap like i can't spell worth nothing um let's see it should be this one and we're going for six and then we're gonna have to get new rings which they don't have it, you have to go to the regular store for that ring um uh, let's see we need six of them we also need um, crank. I don't really know what kind of crank we need, so I'm not going to buy it just yet. So let's go put the piston in. There we go. Putting all aftermarket stuff. I went through and basically cleared out every single thing in my inventory, and I accidentally sold the block to the McLaren. So we're going to have to buy a new engine block, which kind of sucked. Basically, anything that was uh, over... You know, under 99%, I sold, and including like the 500 drag tires I accidentally bought for the uh, McLaren. So, sold all those, but I accidentally sold the block because it was under like 99% or something like that. So, we're gonna have to buy a new block. Can I get to this? There we go. Sometimes it, it doesn't want to like grab what you're clicking and stuff. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get the bottom end done. So let's go ahead and re rotate it go so we are going to need oh we already have the crank in there i didn't even know we had that so <laughs> it's been a really long time um i want to go ahead and get four of these i think that's what we need and then we're going to have to get the cap uh the piston six at least we don't have to get uh, a ton that's always good so let's go ahead and put this on course like the v12 it takes longer to build a v12 because it's like it's almost basically double up literally everything you have we might actually bought enough Let's see we bought four so i think we did usually i always like judge the uh the crank uh bearing caps i always misjudge them i think i'm like do we buy enough i don't know it has just been one of those days today, and I was like, you know what? I gotta get a garage here and build, <laughs> build a super motor so we can get that thing at least so I can move it around and stuff. But my goal is hopefully we can get in and start up and stuff, even though it doesn't have, uh, uh, you know, suspension or anything like that. Because I do want to do really skinnies in the front and like the biggest, fattest tire. You know, I can do in the rear without it actually like clipping through or anything. Because I mean, you can do monster tires on it, but it'll just look stupid in. So I didn't get enough. You know, and I was bra I was bragging on myself. So that was the problem. I was bragging myself like, yo, I got enough. So that's gonna be the crankshaft bearing cap is what we need. So let's go ahead and grab another one. Well, dang. All right. Oil pan, so it looks like we're basically I6 is going to be everything. Oil pan. Um, where are you? I6. Everybody always gets on to me. They're like, hey, you went over it four or five times. When you're recording and trying to find it, it's it's a whole lot different. I can literally sit here and be like, oh, there it is. 
But then it's like, as soon as the camera's on, you're like, where the heck did it go? Slap that, slap that on. I'm pretty sure this motor might make over a thousand horsepower. Whatever it is, it's it's going to make some good good. So let's go ahead and rotate it back over, and we'll start putting stuff back on. I'm going to go ahead and do the oil filter. Uh, let's do oil. Gonna be an i6. There it is. I, I like the uh, the non really bright color oil filter. Some of them's like pink, and you're just like, there it is. So I kind of like it when it's you know not too too bright. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to here. Um, I think I can get an aftermarket flywheel clutch. Definitely need that. We we'll get the pressure plate. And clutch. Unfortunately, it's like we got to go here for the bearing for it. Oops. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get the clutch assembly done. And we'll be putting basically. I wish we could. I know they'll probably end up making you know, another simulator and stuff. But with all this Rona crap going around, I, I really don't. Hang on for a minute. Did I? I did put the racing clutch in that. All this crap. I don't know if it's putting a lot of like video games or anything behind, but I hope when they come out with a new carbon mechanic similar, they will let you actually build your transmission. That would be so cool. But like, oh yeah, I just built the motor and I'll build a transmission to bolt up to it. That would be like a, a whole nother level. I mean, the thing is about building cars, so you can't really go in too much like realistic. I mean, like not go into too much because you want to have the you know the best experience. And it would be so cool to actually. Put like your you know your disc brakes and you know basically kind of lay them down so you can kind of use them instead of just sitting there and hit repair and everything all right so we're going to use the engine head i6 and of course we are going to go to the power boost store power boost um let's see we're going to get the engine head i6 now this should be a turboed engine I mean, in theory, it should be, because, I mean, literally, it's going in a Supra. A really fast Supra. Well, we hope it to be fast. Um, Two-barrel carb. We need the two-barrel carb. Is that what we're needing? Carburetor I6B. Um, carb. Two-barrel. You know what? I don't think it is. It's going to be the... Two barrel carb, yep. A little bit, a little bit pricey. Gonna look pretty good. I wish we could have it like it's like a red um, antioxidant or however you say that word. Of course, every time I say something, people always like corrects me. But anyways, it'd be cool if you could just have it kind of blue or something since their car is actually blue. I guess we could have done like a Fast and Furious style, but you know. Um, round air filter side draft and hopefully if you hear that I don't know if you can or not it's like thundering outside so <laughs> you might hear some thunder there we go Need through these I mean it's 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 thundering in my gr garage right here that's where the thunder's coming at <clears throat> you know what I'm saying all right Let's slap that on put this right there all right so we want racing cams and we want racing fuel filter. I need a fuel, I need this right here, and then I need a cam I6. I'm hoping I didn't just, okay, both of them, okay, because some of them you have A and B, but you know. 3.25% horsepower, so. Let's hope we do get a little bit. All right, so we need six plugs and let's see, one, two, three, four. I can't even see it now. Let's see, three. So we need six of them. So twelve altogether. Okay. I need six plugs. Six plugs. There we go. And we need camshaft cap. We need twelve caps if you put in cap it usually come up with a bunch of stuff but 
We need 12 of these bad boys. That's why I said it's like when you start to get into the motors that have like uh, like the push rods and you got to put the rocker and everything, it, it does take a little bit doing that. Not not by the right ones. I probably didn't. Like I probably spent some money for something. Camshaft cap. Oh, I6. <sighs> I'm just getting in a hurry. Get in a hurry, and we basically spent how man, how much? Like three hundred forty-eight dollars. And this is their car, so we're basically probably not gonna be making any money back because I'm probably gonna keep it. We're just making some drag cars. We need to get some. We need to get a drag truck or something. And so, well, that's what really what we need, because we built like the. I think it was a lifted Ford lower Chevy, or it was vice versa. It's been so long, so many vehicles ago. I mean, we, we made over $4 million, and we literally have probably, uh, at least I know about four to five, six, seven, eight million dollars in cars sitting in their uh, garage. So we're not hurting for money. I wish I had that problem, like IRL, but yeah, I got like $4 million in the bank, and like, $10 million in cars sitting in my driveway. It's no biggie. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Alright, so we're going to get this. This motor is not going to take too long to build, but long enough. I don't know why I chose that one. Did I not buy enough? I did not buy enough. Like, I couldn't see how many I needed anyways. So, there we go. Just a simple mistake. All right, let's go ahead and slap this on, and we want to throw the plugs in. All racing plugs, and I just messed up. I know. I, I <laughs> apparently like I, I try to sell a lot of stuff, so especially when I get ready to. I don't even know what I went here for. Uh, when I get ready to put new stuff in, I don't get them mixed up, just like I did right there. So, putting racing plugs in, not stockies. I want, I want all the power we can, because apparently on one of the vehicles, I forgot to put something. I think it was a Ferrari, and I, for, I put a stock camshaft instead of like a, a modded one, and y'all hated it, and I was not going to tear it down. So, there's a Ferrari running around in this world. That has a one stock cam shaft that did like a bumped up cam shaft. We need uh, the cam gears. Um, hopefully, yeah. So I'm hoping both of these are the same. It looks the same. It looks the same, so it must be the same. All right, so we need time and chain for I6. Um, I don't even know why they have stock parts for, like, you gotta have, you know, aftermarket to make it, go, to make it go good. I'm just having a world of trouble today. Um, uh, we're quality. There's a lot of I6s out there. We need the time and chain I6. That's gonna be it. And I missed the chain, so that's what it was. Ba -ba. I try to get in a hurry, and then it's like it just it just goes down heel from there. It does. Go ahead, put that on. We need to do time and chain. Let's see. I need the time and chain for the I six. I six, and I think is that all I need for that so far. Let's go put the bolt in and then we need a water pump now I don't know if they have like an after water pump after after water pump after market water pump they don't but we do need an alt and it looks like the alternator is going to be this hopefully yeah we're definitely getting a, the aftermarket this car should get down and boogie so we need a water pump from the actual stock store Water, water pump for an I6. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I don't. Is it going to be for an I6 or is it going to be something else? Yeah, it is. 
It's gonna be a small little corners. I six B. I six there it is. So easy to overlook. Alright. Built like a ton of cars and we still overlook parts. That's terrible. Time and cover. Um it's gonna be I six. There we go. And I'm just going to put I-6, but I guarantee it's going to come up a bunch of stuff because I need the top engine cover. And I think it's that one, but I'm not 100, so I'm going to wait and see. Yeah, I think it is. So that is okay. The only time I was, I was kind of sure, but I wasn't sure and I didn't jump the gun, it would have been the right one. So it would have been this one. Perfect. Again, I wish we could kind of paint it or like sticker bomb it or do something to it, you know, just to make it look a little cooler. All right. So we need air. Let's see what else we need. We need, we need a lot of stuff on this thing. All right. So we got our spark plugs and stuff. We're going to have to do air water pump pulley and distributor and crankshaft. Let's see. Crankshaft pulley is I6. Um, where is crank? Crankshaft pulley. There it is. So we get that one. And for distributor, we're going to go here. Um, and I think it's going to be for this one and then we're going to have to have the clips which is stupid because literally you had to go to a whole nother store and I don't even know what clips so I'm not going to buy them just yet just be a waste of money I didn't buy a pulley yet though I did buy this and this we got to buy a button too for it I forgot about that tack on it <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. Put the cap on, and it's going to be clip B. Like, if we bought it, we would have had it. Because I was going to buy two clip Bs, but I'd been, what, like $28? Go, and. So we'll need ignition wires for I six. Wire for the I six. Well, all you wires, ignition wires I six. There we go. Uh huh. And then water pump pulley. We're getting there. We're slowly. We're slowly getting this whole motor put together. Water pump pulley. Well, are you? It's gonna be a stocky, little stocky water pump pulley. Mm -hmm. And serpentine belt I six. I six. It's gonna be serpentine belt. Oh, that's B. No. Serpentine belt. I feel like it's gonna be that one, but. Belt B, okay, because it, it looked like this was the outline that we needed, but there's like a thousand different outlines, it feels, it feels like. So, got that. We need serpentine belt A. How did I not like feel that like coming? I felt like that. I should have been like, oh yeah, well, might as well go ahead and buy A. Hey, they throw you some curveballs. Um, let's see. Now we need to put the exhaust and everything on, but it's not giving us an option to throw the exhaust on. So I'm not understanding, unless like it, it doesn't want us to put the exhaust on, but I don't understand why it, it wouldn't. But we're going to go ahead and remove it from the stand and then put it 
as I walk into a wall and then put it in the car and see I mean I I really don't know why it wouldn't allow us to do that um yes all right hang on we, we gotta we gotta like take a little picture here you know what I'm saying let me let me get my my photo mode perfect all right um I don't know I mean maybe okay maybe that's why we're gonna have to put the other okay all right then uh <laughs> weird but cool cool I love how it says uh, has to be from the engine bay but then it's like you go there and it's like no no you, you can't do that it's like what so if it would let me click on the engine access from the engine bay okay well I mean I've got a okay I six front exhaust I six Cause sometimes it does that. It's like, oh, I won't let you get the engine bay. You gotta literally rip the whole front of the car off just to do it. Front section exhaust I six. I think that's gonna be it. Maybe this is why we couldn't put air. Okay, apparently that was reason. I don't know why that would actually stop us from putting that on, but cool, cool. Looks like it's going to, we're going to need two of these. So apparently we're not running turbo on Air Super, which I'm pretty sure this, I'm not like a Toyota expert or anything like that. I'm pretty sure this Super came with a turbo. Uh, like though in the comments, didn't this Super come with like a 2JZ or something like that? I don't know that much about Supras, but I mean, Fast and Furious taught us, uh, 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 us a lot. <laughs> I'm joking. But I'm pretty sure these things came with turbos. So I don't know if they were just like, nah, not today or what. Okay, well, we might miss air uh, 300 horsepower or 1,000 horsepower goal by like 1,000 horsepower. <laughs> I mean, wow, I should have just clicked. It would have been a lot better. Ra radiator, fan housing, B. And that is going to be the big one and small fan. And then I will put the battery in with a seat and, ho and a fuel tank. And hopefully we can actually like crank this bad boy up. Oh, and we have a uh, an intercooler. Would you look at that? All right. As it won't even let me get to the intercooler. All right, there we go. Okay, so we need an intercooler. Would not let me get to the intercooler from here. Oh, uh, just let me put the thing. Okay, so car has to be lift. See, this is what gets me. All right, so it looks just like we have an intercooler, which I don't think there's like an aftermarket, which it would be pretty freaking sweet if it was. Enter cooler. Nope. As for the big motors. All right. Um. Looks like we're going to use a, a a medium. A medium. Just a medium uh, intercooler. As it won't even <laughs> let me near it. All right. Um. So yeah, I want to go ahead and put the front bumper back on since I had to take it off. Well, this might not be that good of a drag car to be honest, <laughs> to be honest cause I feel like we kind of missed their goal of all of our horsepower. Oh, oh, so we got an engine cover. What's the engine cover? What was the, what, what let me add, oh, okay, so it's a, Apparently it's a cosmetic. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to fool people. Okay, I don't even know what I did there, Supra. So, um, we're going to fool people. Engine cover. 
Oh, that's 2020, man. We get the old school. Um, I guess engine cover. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there it is. Um, let's see what. Oh, we already have one. Now let's see what this uh cover says. Well, never mind. I guess I'm gonna take it. Let me see what it says on there. I don't. I. You know what? I've got the camera mode. Let's let's try it. See what this shows. I can't even read what it says on there. Oh well. Well, uh, yeah. So that completely sucks. We need to put a fuel tank in. Let's put our fuel tank, fuel pump. On my aftermarket fuel pump, and I want to see if I can crank it up. Now I don't know if I can, because we don't even have the transmission or anything with it. But we should at least be able to crank it up. And for the tank, I'm guessing that it didn't let me talk. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking it's going to be a fuel tank, just a normal fuel tank suspension. Okay, so it is a normal fuel tank. And can I get to the fuel pump? Yes. And of course we're going with the aftermarket. And for the seats, I think I like to go with something, you know, racing style. So let's see. We have, we need some more seats. <laughs> um I mean I kinda like these, but the SLS so, I mean, we have to go kind of with like aftermarket if we do anything like racing. I don't want fabric. I don't want some leather. Uh, you know what? Let's just do two of these and then for a steering wheel. I mean, I just say we do that one. It's, it's not very awesome looking but it'll work and we need to put the exhaust on this thing can I, can I do the interior okay there we go let's go ahead and put the interior oh this car is right hand drive I did not know that it was so let's go ahead and put the interior in and apparently it's not letting me put the steering wheel on so I don't I don't know if we can do it but let's see if we can start this thing I know why it's not going to let us start because we got the oil. Maybe. I don't know, but I'm hoping like that's the reason. Because we've got the fuel pump, fuel tank, the battery, oil in it. Um, I mean, we can go ahead and put the brake stuff on if because I don't know how like touchy this thing is because sometimes it should start sometimes it don't so we can at least start it up ABS I don't know if it's going to ask for the actual ABS module why do I keep doing this like literally I have like a crap tent look there well I didn't buy that one because that been about $800 a little waste so let me try it. I mean, uh, I mean, it should start, but it's not, so, hmm. I don't know if it's because it, we don't have a steering wheel or anything like that, but I'm not for sure. It should be starting. We, we literally have the battery and everything. We've got the fuel tank. We'll have to go over it more. It might be because, ah, oh, I bet you I know why. <clears throat> bet you I know why. We gotta, we gotta put the starter on. <laughs> it's like, why was your car not start? Uh, I, I didn't have a starter on it. Well, that was a fluke, wasn't it? 
All right, so we need a I4 wheel drive, and we'll go ahead and get the aftermarket. Um, I4 wheel so drive. There we go. We'll put the starter on, and we should be able to start it. <laughs> Oh goodness, and it's going to do a start course starter from the engine bay because right being right there is not, you know, isn't a good spot for it. We have to literally put the car back down. That's one of the things that irks me. Starter. Bum -bum. I think it's going to be this one. Not 100. Oops. Go ahead and slap the starter on. And after this, it should start. It should. I don't know if it ain't gonna move, I'll tell you that, but she's alive! She's alive! The Supra is alive. It is running. She's getting there. I've gotta put some exhaust on. I just feel like uh that needs duels. But uh it's alive. It's getting there. We're gonna have to put the suspension stuff on it, but in the next video we'll probably be fixing this motor up because that's all we're waiting for is the motor. Get it tuned, dyno, see how it does, and we're gonna sell it because this car right now is sitting at six hundred and ninety-four thousand dollars. An airport little supra is uh Eighty-three thousand, but we did pay a pretty penny for that. But yeah, let me know about the engine setup in this. Is it supposed to be a two JZ? Is that? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be. I know it's supposed to be turboed, so I think this isn't the light, the right, like kind of motor for it. But again, like it is a mod, so the game isn't built, shouldn't have like the correct motor for it. I guess you just gotta use what you do. Anyways, guys, this is Ghost, and I am out of here. The Super will be alive one day. One day. Yeah.